Hello, this is H.C. Bailey, and welcome back to Let's Play Final Fantasy VII! Today, we've got to find a way to get into Janon and kill Rufus! I could talk to my party members there, but they don't have anything particularly interesting to say. So how are we going to get out up there, Priscilla? Oh, she has a little whistle with her. And what's the whistle do? Here, Snowflake! Here, Snowflake! Whoa! That's a nice little trick you can teach the dolphin there with a whistle. Oh, she's gonna give us the whistle. Yeah, well, what are we gonna do with that thing? We have to... Okay, here's what we have to do. I'll just give you a demonstration. We're going to use the dolphin to jump all the way up to the top of the tower there so that way we don't get electrocuted in the water. Uh, yeah, yeah, let's go. Okay, so I'll just give you a demonstration. Clouds in the water here, so if you press the square button, it'll call the dolphin and it'll flip you into the air. And you gotta get up onto this little bar right there. I don't want to do that yet. You know why? Because we have another battle at Fort Condor again! Woohoo! Don't worry, it won't be so ridiculous like this throughout the whole game. For some reason, they just decided to throw in, like, three battles right at the beginning of Janon. I don't know why. But once you get through this, then it's more reasonable, like, once per area to come back to Fort Condor, if you so choose to fight all the battles. So, I'll take care of that, and be right back here then. Okay, we made it back from Fort Condor, won the battle there, and got three tinctures for our efforts, or so they told us. Actually, we got three others. They just said it was three tinctures. It was a typo there. So, in order to get up to that metal bar up there, I mean, that's what we gotta do to get into Jiran. Just don't do anything. Hit the square button to blow the whistle. Don't worry about the fall. Cloud can survive falls of any height, as we all know. Tap up very lightly. Blow the whistle again. Ha ha! There you go. And that's how you get up there. So I'm, I hope I've saved you some pain and agony of doing this for yourself. It took me half an hour to do it the first time. <sighs> Bad memories. Boy, that's a pretty big airship they got there. Can I have one? Can I steal one just like it? No. No, they won't let us. Oh, well, they wouldn't let us have an airship five minutes into the game, would they? Oh, well, they didn't. Final Fantasy III, I suppose. Okay, let's move around. There's nothing else we can do here, so... Let's tap this yellow thing on that platform. I have no idea why they have that there. Now, I wouldn't really know much about airports, so... Well... hey -o! What the? Oh, well, I guess we gotta infiltrate the enemy, so... Sure, why not? I'll go along with it. We're gonna welcome President Rufus to Janan. So, let's get changed into a Shinra uniform. Because, as we all know, Cloud is a master of disguise! You're gonna get changed right in front of him? Ah, oh, there we go. That's a much better look for you, Cloud. Uh, greeting procedure? Y yeah, I, I forgot. Can you tell me what it is again? Do it like they do on the Discovery Channel. Hey, no. No, I'm not singing that song. They're gonna sing the lyrics to Rufus's welcoming ceremony. Oh, great. I don't like the lyrics they make up for this song, so, you know what, I I'm just going to replace them with my own lyrics, if you don't mind, viewers. I really do want to kill Rufus, but I'll let Sephiroth do the job. Would you like decapitation, asphyxiation, or meteors in your head? 
Rufus and Ra really, really bite. He tried to kill both my girls and dog. I hope he likes being stabbed in the back, but not before being set on fire. Rufus shot me many, many times, but I've got really good Kevlar. I'd like to see what his hair would look like after being struck by lightning 50 times. Now why does he want the promised land? Is he jealous of Sephiroth's sword? Mako won't help with your problem, but you can always get another bigger gun. Okay, sorry for torturing you with my singing voice, viewers. I promise I won't do it again for another episode or two, at least, hopefully. Boy, that's a pretty big cannon, but what the hell are you going to use that thing for anyway? It's stationary. I mean, you'd have to be an idiot to run into something like that. Foreshadowing! Oh, we missed the parade here. Oh, no! Or, oh, we got an alley. Good idea! Glad I thought of it. Okay, now, before we do this next part, I want to pause here, because I keep on screwing up the recording here. So I'll pause for a moment and be right back. Okay, take six! This is really starting to get on my nerves. I hate this mini game. I keep on screwing it up. Okay, let's try this again. I mean, it looks so simple. You just run to the right, run down, run to the left, and wave your gun around just like the rest of the soldiers there. How hard can it be? <laughs> and of course, us marching on the side of the road on live TV won't do anything. Walk to the right, run down, run to the left, and there you go. And just keep on pressing the circle button there, and that'll increase the TV ratings. Don't worry about your gun being in line with the other soldiers there. Yay! We did it! Well, six is my lucky number. All right, we got six others. That's actually better than the first place prize when you get above 50% for your rating there because you get 5,000 gil. But you can sell six others for more than that, which is kind of ridiculous. <laughs> but there you go. Oh, we'll have to do that mini game later too, viewers, but not yet. Oh, finally, I'm so happy I got through that mini game. Usually I like Janome more. I love this whole scene. You're going through the city and everything, and they got all these mini games and all that, and all that stuff on Fort Condor. I love all this stuff, but it's gonna take three days to get an airship ready. Uh, yeah, I, I think you should stop laughing in front of the president like that. Stop laughing, fat man. We're gonna toss you into the ocean over there. Or maybe use you as cannon fodder. Would you like that? Sorry, I'm still a little irritated from the minigame viewers. I'll just try and enjoy the music. I really do like the music here. Which one are we, anyway? Were all those soldiers just kind of laughing at him? Whoa, hey! What's going on here? Oh, whoa! What's... Why is that moving? Oh, some kind of elevator, I guess. What do you mean, the disaster? We got pretty good ratings. Sort of. Sephiroth. We have to find him. Oh, yeah, we gotta play dumb here. Two or three days ago. Why would he bother killing soldiers? Dismissed! From this minigame. 
what if I am? You know, something funny about that minigame there, if you, like, totally blow it and you lose, they say, the TV ratings were horrible, and some TV announcer guy gets fired, and then they say, send that soldier a bomb or something. <laughs> I love that. Okay, come on, let's hurry up here. Okay, well, they're going to show us how to get ready for the next minigame, but that's all the time I have for this episode of Let's Play Final Fantasy VII. This is H.C. Bailey, signing off. Have a good day.